Have you ever wondered how something as sweet as sugar could be detrimental to your health? As delightful as it might sound, the sugar story isn't all about sweetness and delight. It's a tale that bears a direct connection to our daily lives, our diets, and indeed our health. Every day we find sugar in the most unexpected places. It's in our breakfast cereals, our cup of coffee, even the so-called healthy snacks. It's practically everywhere, quietly adding flavor to our lives. But behind this sweet facade, there's a bitter truth waiting to be unveiled. The increasing health concerns associated with sugar consumption are not just random hearsay. From obesity to heart diseases, from diabetes to tooth decay, the list of ailments linked to sugar is alarmingly long. Yet, its widespread use continues, often concealed under various guises. In this video, unravel the bitter truth behind the sweet facade of sugar. Sugar, a simple carbohydrate, is more complex than you might think. Let's start with the basics. When you consume sugar, it gets broken down into two simpler forms of sugar, glucose and fructose. This happens in the stomach and the small intestine, where enzymes get to work, splitting the sugar molecules into these two components. Now, this is where insulin comes into play. Insulin is a hormone produced by your pancreas. Its primary role is to regulate the amount of glucose in your bloodstream. Once sugar is broken down into glucose and fructose, insulin swoops in, helping glucose to move from your bloodstream into your cells. That's where glucose serves its purpose. It's used as a source of energy. In a nutshell, it's the fuel that keeps your body running. Fructose, on the other hand, is processed differently. It's handled by your liver and can be converted into fat if you consume too much of it. While this is a normal process, an overload of fructose can lead to problems such as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But what happens when you take in more sugar than your body can handle? This is where things can get tricky. If you continuously consume excessive amounts of sugar, your body might struggle to keep up with the constant demand for insulin. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, a condition where your cells stop responding to insulin properly. This can cause blood sugar levels to rise, potentially leading to type 2 diabetes, a serious health condition. Moreover, the overconsumption of sugar can also lead to obesity. Remember how fructose can be converted into fat? Well, if you're consuming more sugar than your body needs for energy, the excess glucose and fructose can be stored as fat, contributing to weight gain. All these processes underline the importance of moderation when it comes to sugar intake. The body is designed to handle sugar, but like many things in life, too much of it can disrupt the delicate balance that keeps us healthy. As you can see, the body's response to sugar is a delicate balance, which can easily be tipped. Now, let's delve into one of the most visible impacts of sugar, obesity. Picture this. Sugar, in its many forms, is a staple in our diets. It's in our morning coffee, the sandwich we grab for lunch, even the so-called healthy fruit juice we sip on. It seems harmless, doesn't it? But here's the catch. Sugar is not just a simple sweetener. It's a complex piece that can wreak havoc with our health. Let's demystify the connection between high sugar intake and obesity. Our bodies need energy to function, and sugar, or more accurately glucose, is a primary source of that energy. But here's where things get sticky. When we consume more sugar than our bodies need for immediate energy, the surplus doesn't just vanish. It gets converted into fat and stored in our bodies, waiting for a day when it might be needed. Think of it as your body's personal savings account. But unlike money, where saving is a good thing, storing excess fat can lead to weight gain and obesity. And the more sugar you eat, the more fat your body tucks away. But it's not just about the excess sugar turning into fat. Sugary foods often come with high calorie tags but deliver low nutritional value. It's like paying a premium for a product that doesn't quite do the job. You see, when you fill your body with empty calories from sugar, you're missing out on essential nutrients from other foods. This can lead to overeating as your body seeks out the nutrients it needs, further contributing to weight gain. So, what we have here is a double whammy. On one hand, excess sugar is being stored as fat. On the other, we're consuming more calories with less nutritional benefit, prompting overeating and further weight gain. The link between sugar and obesity is clear, but that's not the only health concern. So, as we continue this journey, 
let's explore how sugar impacts other aspects of our health. Beyond weight gain, excessive sugar intake can have far-reaching implications for your health. That's right, sugar is not just about those extra pounds around your waistline, it's about a lot more, and some of it is, frankly, quite alarming. Let's get into the bitter truth about sugar. High sugar consumption is a key player in the onset of several chronic diseases. Diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer all have been linked to excessive sugar intake. So, how does sugar do this? Well, it's a two-step process. First, when you consume sugar, your body responds by producing insulin, a hormone that helps glucose enter cells. However, consuming sugar in large amounts can lead to your body becoming resistant to insulin. This means your cells are less able to absorb glucose, leading to high blood sugar levels. Over time, this can result in type 2 diabetes. Now, let's talk about heart disease. When you eat a lot of sugar, your liver gets overloaded with fructose and is forced to turn it into fat. Some of this fat ends up in your bloodstream, raising your blood triglyceride levels. This is a risk factor for both heart disease and stroke. Lastly, let's touch on cancer. While more research is needed to understand the exact relationship, there is a growing body of evidence suggesting that high sugar consumption can lead to inflammation and oxidative stress. These conditions can damage cells and lead to the development of certain types of cancer. And here's something you might not know. Sugar also affects your teeth. It provides easily digestible energy for the bad bacteria in your mouth. And over time, this can lead to tooth decay and other dental problems. The effects of sugar on health are far-reaching and not just confined to weight-related issues. So it's not just about vanity or looking good in a swimsuit. It's about your overall health, your longevity, and your quality of life. The bitter reality is that sugar, while sweet, can have a very sour impact on your health. Knowing the adverse effects of sugar, the question now is, how can we reduce its consumption? It's not as daunting as it may seem. In fact, there are practical steps that can guide us on this path towards better health. Firstly, let's consider food labels. They're like a treasure map to a healthier lifestyle. They tell us what's inside the food we're about to consume. However, sugar isn't always listed as sugar. It disguises itself with names like fructose, glucose, sucrose, maltose, and many more. By understanding these aliases, we can make informed decisions about what we're putting into our bodies. Next, we can look to natural sweeteners as alternatives. Honey, maple syrup, and dates, for example, are not only sweeter than sugar, but also come with their own set of health benefits. They contain vitamins and minerals that processed sugar lacks. But remember, they are still forms of sugar and should be used sparingly. Another effective strategy is reducing processed foods. These are often loaded with hidden sugars. Opt instead for whole foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Not only are these foods lower in sugar, but they also provide essential nutrients that our bodies need. Now, let's talk about moderation. It's important to understand that reducing sugar intake doesn't mean eliminating it completely. Our bodies need a certain amount of sugar for energy. The key is to strike a balance, to know when less is more. Also, patience is crucial. Reducing sugar intake is not a race, but a journey. It takes time to adjust to a less sweet palate. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. You'll start to enjoy the natural sweetness of foods, you'll feel more energized, and you'll be taking a significant step towards better health. Reducing sugar intake is not about deprivation, but about making healthier choices for long-term benefits. It's about embracing a lifestyle that nourishes not just the body, but also the mind. So, are you ready to embark on this journey towards better health? It's a path that's sweet in its own, healthier way. As we have navigated through the scientific aspects of sugar and its effects on health, let's summarize the key points. We delved into the science of sugar, discovering how our bodies metabolize it and the havoc it wreaks when consumed in excess. We explored the sticky connection between sugar and obesity examining the research that showcases this alarming relationship. We also uncovered the bitter reality of chronic diseases linked to high sugar consumption, including heart disease and type 2 diabetes. But it's not all doom and gloom. We also discussed practical ways to reduce sugar intake. From making mindful choices about the foods we consume, 
to understanding food labels and even finding natural substitutes for sugar. These small changes can make a big difference in our overall health. Remember, sugar in moderation is the key to a healthier you. Stay informed, make wise choices, and take control of your health.